So people ask me, what if my parents tell me that don't start a business, go to college, graduate college, don't even have this entrepreneurship dream and just go and do what other people are doing. Go and graduate college, then get a job. And then when you're 40 years old, start a business. Desmond, what would you do if you're in my position? Well, actually, when I was young, that was a position that I was in. So a lot of young kids come up to me uh, after I wrote the book Against All Odds. A lot of them come up to me and say, Desmond, I want to start a business. My parents, they're not approved of what I'm doing. They don't like my business ideas. And in fact, they have no confidence in my business ability. What should I do? And I would always say this. This is where you, you have an, uh, an upper hand because it challenges you as an entrepreneur because now you need to start thinking about your time management skills. While you're going to school, how can you make a business that makes money? While you're going to school, how can you turn your business profitable? While you're going to school with so little resources, how can you become successful? Because remember this thing, Tony Robbins said this, it's not about your resources that you have, it's not about the time you have, energy you have, connections you have, it's about how resourceful you are as an entrepreneur that makes you successful. So if you, even if you're forced to go to school, even if you feel like you want to start a business, but because the people around you tells you that you gotta go to school, you gotta spend time at school, you gotta get good grades, do it anyway. But here's the deal, do your business as a side business, as a side hustle. Prove them wrong by making a million dollars out of it because that's what I did. And when I show the income statement to my parents, there's nothing they can say anymore.